Since PowerPoint 2013, we have access to the eyedropper. As we click on a shape or on text, if we want to recolor the text or recolor a shape that we selected, we can use the eyedropper. Now the problem is, people tell that when they move outside of the slide, the eyedropper disappears, so you cannot select colors outside of the initial slide. Well, this is not true, because if we select here, if we select the eyedropper and we click and hold this click, now we can move everywhere we want on our monitor. Let's say that we have other slides, we want to copy the other colors, we can do it like that and release. We can even move this to make the slides bigger. What's even more interesting, we can use the eyedropper even outside of PowerPoint. Let's say we want to draw colors from a website, we can again select the text color, select the eyedropper, we can click, we can hold the click and we can move anywhere on our monitor. This way we can quickly import colors into our slide. This is a little mechanical trick when it comes to the eyedropper. This is all I wanted to clear out because I know some people have problems with that and I'm getting a lot of questions about that. So this video should be the little answer. Please do leave a like if the video was useful so I'll know what videos to record. Thank you for listening and see you later.